What's going on, my boy? Today, I'm going to be showing you the top ways you can make money in GTA 5 Online right now. Starting off with VIP work, was paying out triple money and RP. What I'm about to show you, you can do unlimited times. Since VIP work is paying out triple money and RP, everything's paying out tremendously, but I want you to do four to five. Why do you ask? Because this pays out the best, and you can do it unlimited times. So we're going to start off four to five. If you don't know, you're going to need this truck right here, the zombie truck. Hey, listen, you're going to make that money back. Pro tip, make sure to do this in an invite-only session so nobody messes with you because you might have those random people that mess with you. Now to find a truck on the map, it's going to be located somewhere. Make sure you get there before the time in the bottom right expires because you want to get some extra money for doing this to get into that truck like I'm doing right here. Now don't be silly and not get in that truck because you're going to mess everything up. Get in that truck like I did right there then get out of it. If you have a press or a helicopter this is tremendous. You got to get away from this truck. I don't want you anywhere near that truck because NPCs are going to spawn and try night night. Well you don't want that. Trust me you do not want that. Do what I'm doing right here. I'm getting my balls Itself so far away from here. I'm being serious about this. As you can see here, I'm just getting far away. If you're on a different part of the map, just go like on top of a building and you're pretty much Gucci. We have nine minutes and 30 seconds to just do nothing. Literally, it's the most laziest way of making money in GTA 5 line right now, and we're gonna do it unlimited times because it's like a 45 minute time limit between you can do the next time you can do fortified, but we're gonna bypass that later on in the video. As you can see here, I wasted literally 10 minutes doing nothing. I'm flying a little bit, being a little excited because I got five seconds to just get myself a hundred thousand dollars plus. So two one bada boom bada bing a hundred thousand dollars in the bank yes he's up div i want to do this again let me show you exactly what to do to do this again come over here to style accessories i don't change your glove change your hat change your mask do what you gotta do and once you've done that on the bottom right corner this little orange circle is going to spin around once you see that just exit the game now i loaded it up went over here to story mode once in story mode i went to the invite only session and once i done that i loaded into my invite only session i became a vip this is what you gotta do to do this this is tremendous right here become a vip then once you've done that, come over here to VIP work and guess what? Fortified is highlighted. That means you can do it again. That means another $100,000 in a bank like that. That 40-something minute time wait is no longer there. Meaning we can just waste 10 minutes of our life doing completely nothing again and make another $100,000. You just need to do this 10 times and make yourself a million dollars in GTA 5 online. You can do that pretty darn easily like I just showed you right there. Right there, look, another $100,000. You think that's cool, but wait, we got another way of making money this week in GTA 5 online with this mode. We call it Night Night Quarter 3. This one here is a lot of fun if you want to get more rounds and make yourselves even more money in this mode right here i recommend starting an invite only session you probably get yourself seven rounds that means literally literally a lot of money now, if you've never done this mode before it's literally the gun game from like call of duty but it's a lot of fun especially if you're doing it with friends if you do it with friends this is what you want to do this is very important here get some friends in the comments put your game tag below so you can get some friends this way so you make yourself a lot of money with this this is very important you want to do seven rounds you want to win one round lose one round go back and forth back and forth like that to the 14th round you ask me div why would i want to do do that i can do it in a public session you could like i'm doing right here it's a public session to make myself a lot of money but if you do it with friends in a seven round series listen you're gonna make yourself a lot of money we wasted the whole entire time for this round right here and got ourselves sixty thousand dollars let's just do the math right here you could probably make yourself over five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars if you do around 14 rounds in total and you win the whole entire match just watch out for people that drop from the game like this guy here just dropped out of it because it was one against two i could have done this easily one against two but this guy decided to dip so i got myself well over $120,000 just for three rounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can do this and make yourself well over $500,000 in an invite only session. So after that, if you want to do this, this is five times, yes, five times the money and RP in GTA line right now. Taxi work. This is how much it should normally be, Rockstar. Let's be honest about this. So if you're one of those poor players in GTA line right now, I have a video at the top right corner showing you how to make millions literally by rank 12. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. But if you want to do this right here, this is more of a grind, but it's also worth it if you're poor in GTA Online. So come over here and do some fairs like they do in GTA Vice City. Remember that one? The classic. This is the grindest of the grind you're going to do this week in GTA Online. If you want to do this, write in the comments below. Is anybody out there even doing tax to work? It's five times the money and RP. Imagine they did that on literally missions. If they did that on missions, I would be the most happiest person on earth because that's a lot of money. So right there for one taxi thing, I got myself $5,800 but that's going to keep on going up every time I deliver somebody to the destination until it hits 10. I believe once it hits 10, you get capped. You can't go any higher than it it is so you're gonna keep on making around the same exact money every time you deliver somebody after 10 people you deliver. Yes, you yourself dib.
what happens when I get like the 13? I wonder how much money I make. Well, I'm going to show you. Picking this person up, the tip so far is $9,940. The fare is $565. This is my 13th person I'm picking up. This is the last delivery we're going to do for this video. So bada boom, bada bing. Let's see how much we got. $102,000 I made so far from 13 people delivered to the destinations. And I said, you know what? That's good. $102,000 for 13 missions. That's not bad. Especially if you're a poor player in GTA Line. I recommend grinding that out. But also we have some other stuff on dial over here. If you want to get these exports for Simeon. He's going to give you a list in one of the texts. Go ahead and look at them, but I never got it, so I recommend coming over here to the casino parking lot. Yeah, she said, Dev, why are you bringing me over here to the casino parking lot, you psycho? Well, this is what you want to do. One of those cars are probably going to be in this parking lot right here, so I recommend getting in every car model you see that looks actually pretty darn good. This car right here, I got into it. I didn't get two stars. I got one. That's not the car you want. Why don't you check all the cars? I recommend running back in the casino, go in there for a little bit, and come back out to the parking lot and do the same exact thing to eventually you find the car that you need. It resets a whole entire parking lot so you get yourself the car that you need. I found it right here. Once you found it, you're going to know because you get two stars in the bottom it says lose the fuzz. And I lost the fuzz and I took it over here to Los Santos Customs and I just changed the color of it. You can change any color you want. It's free. Just make sure you do not destroy this car or crash into anything. You want to keep this thing pristine. I'd also recommend doing this an invite only session to make sure your blood pressure doesn't go sky high. Speaking of sky high, if you're still on this video, drop an S in the comments below and I'll heart every one of those comments because you my boy use a true MVP and I'll know you in the comments below. My be yourself, Div, wait, why are we even doing this? Well, guess what? It's three times the money and RP on this. So go ahead and bring it over here to Siemens Garage. You've done great things in life. Give yourself a high five. You're going places. So I delivered the car right there and got myself $60,000. So it's three times the money and RP on this. If you like that, drop a like right now because that's pretty darn good. But also we can make ourselves $100,000 in this week in GTA 5 line with the weekly time trial. This one of here, I think I fell off my bike two times and I had the most fastest bike in GTA Online so it didn't really matter because it's so fast. It's a HSW upgraded bike on PS5 but you can do this right here on all consoles including PC. So the time trial started. You gotta come all the way over here. It, listen, it looks hard but it's actually not. I fell off my bike twice. That means, that means it's easy. But if you're not using the fastest bike like yours truly is doing in GTA Online, I recommend just keep on doing a wheelie with the it. bike that you're using that is and make sure it's modded up a little bit make it go a lot faster. As you can see right there, I fell off my bike. It's okay, Deb. It's okay. We all get knocked down but hey, it matters if you get back up. I got right back up. I was about to quit it, but I said I ain't gonna quit it until I win it. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say here? So bada boom and bada bing. Listen, it's an easy time trial. Even though I fell off my bike twice, it's okay. I got back up because I had the fastest bike in GTA 5 line. I mean, look at that. It doesn't matter. I got right back up and said not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. I got right back up and I got to the destination of time, giving myself one hundred thousand dollars. I fell off the bike twice and I still completed the time trial. That's a first for me. So after that, I said, hey, let me go over here and do the HSW time trial. This right here only on next gen, but it's going to give you over $250,000 plus. It's a four minute time trial, but you're going to have like 30 seconds left to spare if you have the HSW upgraded bike like I'm doing right here. I wouldn't recommend using the HSW upgraded car because why would you do that? Me personally, I always use the HSW upgraded bike for this stuff right here to get myself the $250,000. Right there, over $250,000 in the bank right there. An easy time trial. Also, if you want to make yourselves millions in GTA Line, especially if you're a starter, go ahead and check out this video right here where I show you exactly how to do that right now in GTA 5 Line. I'll catch you on it.